back with The Home Entertainer. I'm Kathy Bay. Today's topic is how to pick the perfect theater seat. Well, first things first. Ugh. Jeez, have you seen all the options? Everyone thinks that you can only get theater seats in black leather. That is absolutely crazy. Look at all these amazing options that we have today for fabrics. Really cool prints, unique prints, some kind of animal-esque and funky. Or, think about this. Tons of leather options as well. So if you really want to customize your theater room, you can absolutely do that. But another thought for you is, why be boring and just do fabric or just do leather? You can do both. Check out this cool chair. The second thing you want to think about is the configuration of your theater seats. I know it sounds like a basic thing because we all think, okay, three in a row, straight or curved. But did you know that today's configurations offer so many different options? For example, this beautiful sectional here, each chair reclines on its own, which is pretty cool. Or you can even do a love seat in the middle with two chairs on either side, which is also very comfortable. But something that's very popular today is what we call a pick configuration, where all of the seats are together, no arms in the middle, and you can lay down or sit up. So the configuration options are endless. The third thing to think about when you're talking about theater seats for your home is do you want manual or electric? And I know a lot of you at home are concerned about your children with electric, but trust me when I tell you, there are a lot of great manufacturers that make beautiful electric chairs that will last a very long time. The components are actually found in some really nice parts, like Mercedes. But let's not even worry about the quality. How about the functionality of electric versus manual? For example, if you look at this chair, you see that I can actually stop it in any spot, which means that your head can stop in any location of what's comfortable for you to see the TV. In other words, manual gives you limited options, but electric opens the span. So if you're a home entertainer like me, you're probably considering a second row. If that's the case, then there are two rules of thumb to really follow. One is the platform for your second row should be about six to eight inches tall. The reason for that, of course, is so you can see the TV over the people in front of you. Secondly, if you're considering lounging like I am here in a recliner, then of course you're going to want to accommodate for this footrest to go up. And the rule of thumb on that is about 45 inches. Again, these are averages. Make sure you pick your theater seats and then you can figure out the exact measurements that make it all work. So I don't know about you, but now that we've picked our perfect theater seats, I'm ready to watch a movie. Thanks so much for watching The Home Entertainer. I'm Kathy Vick.